and the Rolls Royce broke down on the side of the road, they would dispatch a helicopter with a mechanic with white gloves. How we doing 312 Supercars? It's Dr. K uh, taking another car out to give you a point of view from uh, the driver's uh, perspective. So we're sitting in a 2022 Ghost. <music> this car I believe last December and it already has close to 12,000 miles on it so as you can see it is driven well uh, without uh, question now this uh, really is if I'm gonna do any daily driving it really is uh, with uh, the rolls now last time uh, we were in uh, the pista completely different vehicle this car is just unbelievable it's uh, like uh, when you drive it it's uh, like uh, driving on a pillow there were stories uh, that i read and i didn't verify these uh, but uh, the interior when they designed this vehicle was so quiet that they actually the people that were actually driving in it were getting sick because they were getting disoriented because of how quiet the vehicle was so they actually had to make some adjustments uh, to put in uh, some uh, ambient noise in order to make sure that uh, people uh, could go ahead and uh, stabilize themselves so pretty wild quite big uh, compared to, to the last uh, car we reviewed uh, the 488 uh, piece and it's uh, pretty much bigger than any of the other uh, cars uh, that we actually uh, have this one is done in uh, belladonna purple similar i am told uh, to a car that was ordered uh, by kim kardashian not why we got it uh, but we originally were going to go with black then as we started uh, looking at the, the uh, colors and uh, the options uh, the purple really caught our eye type of uh, color that in certain settings it's black in certain settings it has a little bit of a bluish uh, hue to it but it's really more of an eggplant uh, color and from my perspective i think it's tasteful it's not a shocking uh, purple uh, or anything of uh, that nature which i think would uh, be a little bit uh, disingenuous uh, for a vehicle uh, like this surprisingly for the size and the weight of this car tremendous pickup obviously a v12 uh, the ghost is a v12 and has about 563 horse uh, power so if you want to change lanes or you want to drive uh, relatively uh, fast you have the ability obviously it's not a supercar your, your 0 to 60 is uh, something like uh, 4.5 seconds so it's not, not extremely fast from that perspective uh, but for what it has in it uh, and the ability to, to be able to drive to pass etc is uh, just unbelievable and uh, the uh, comfort uh, is uh, is just something out of this uh, world. We do have uh, the uh, purple accents. Uh, we also have the shades in the, the back where you hit a button, it actually closes off uh, the back and then closes off the side uh, windows as uh, well. We had uh, taken uh, this car to the Triple uh, F uh, collection event uh, this year in Ohio. Uh, and it was extremely uh, comfortable uh, to be able uh, to drive both uh, there as uh, well as uh, back. One of the uh, things uh, that we added that you'll see is uh, the nameplate. Uh, so it says that it actually was hand built in England and it says uh, who it was uh, built uh, for. Uh, so we spent a lot of uh, time uh, specking uh, this one out. Turned out uh, uh, to my liking, I think it is a beautiful car. It does have uh, the uh, Starlight headliner uh, with the shooting uh, stars. It's a must in a car like this, the 2022 Ghost. Now, in terms of uh, cars similar to this, we've had uh, numerous uh, Bentleys. We had the Bentley uh, GTC. I believe we've had four or five of those. And we actually had the Coupe as well in a V12. And a completely different vehicle. Much uh, smaller. Uh, you don't realize uh, that until you get into uh, the Ghost. It is a smaller vehicle and is more of a sporty vehicle. Uh, so your, your Bentleys, uh, they've got a nice exhaust uh, to them. Uh, they've got a little bit more power. 
Uh, obviously not a supercar by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but a little bit more guts, if you will. But whereas uh, this car is just pure luxury. Now, I don't know what you could tell on camera, but that's just me hit 60 uh, that quickly off of uh, the line. So it uh, definitely has uh, the ability uh, to, to move. Bentley does a very nice uh, job in uh, terms of craftsmanship, in terms of uh, comfort as well. But I think this Rolls takes it a step above. And that's not uh, to slight Bentley at all. I think they do a fantastic job. But in terms of how quiet uh, this uh, vehicle is, all of the appointments, there is truly a lot of attention uh, to detail. Uh, the wood uh, grain on uh, the dash, uh, the leather, um, everything is uh, just up uh, to par of what you would expect uh, from a Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce uh, really uh, took a lot of uh, time and effort uh, to handcraft a beautiful uh, vehicle uh, that really uh, uh, kind of uh, exceeds expectations. Uh, when we ordered it, uh, we had the, the ability to obviously t test uh, drive uh, one, but that was for a very short uh, period of time. But once you actually drive this daily, you really appreciate the craftsmanship uh, that uh, Rolls uh, put in uh, to this uh, Gulf. It didn't actually take that long uh, to build. I think we ordered it originally in March and by December we had it. And it was uh, during uh, the COVID time so we were actually surprised. I thought it would uh, take a little bit longer. If you followed my last video on the 488 which was a coupe, uh, I always uh, say I'd like uh, the convertible and I, I think the Dawn is a beautiful car as well. Uh, so if you're looking uh, for the convertible in uh, the Rolls-Royce, uh, that definitely is an option. Uh, we decided uh, to go with uh, the uh, coupe and use it as a uh, daily driver for uh, the uh, Chicagoland area. Haven't had it through a winter yet, uh, so don't know how well it's going uh, to function in uh, those types of uh, conditions. But have had it in a couple of uh, downpours, and it uh, really does uh, handle well. Uh, we did a couple of uh, modifications, not really much. Uh, some uh, PPF uh, went uh, to it, obviously, to, to protect it, uh, but we did change uh, the wheels out from uh, the uh, floating Rolls-Royce center. Obviously, we kept those wheels, uh, but we changed uh, to custom uh, wheels, so you will see uh, that we have the silver wheels uh, that we added uh, to the vehicle and gives it a little bit of a different uh, distinction. Um, I tend uh, to like the actual uh, floating uh, Rolls uh, wheel, uh, but everybody is uh, different, and I think the wheels we put on here are uh, elegant enough, uh, but not overstated. Uh, I think one thing that you do have to be cognizant of is uh, the actual size, uh, because it is a lot bigger than you think. This car truly almost wanted to be where somebody does the driving and you in turn <laughs> sit in the, the back. This is a, a car that you could take uh, across uh, country and you're gonna be very comfortable in it without a doubt. And actually when the shades are uh, closed, uh, the uh, back of the vehicle is the back of the car is extremely dark it does really uh, block out uh, the light you really could uh, get some good sleep while while somebody is uh, driving there are tray tables in uh, the uh, back as uh, well carplay uh, comes automatic uh, the uh, spirit of ecstasy you could either leave it up or down uh, you could leave it automatic or just uh, leave it uh, where you control it off of the center console here stopping to get gas here so that we can make it back home Okay, starting the car back up after getting uh, some uh, gas. As we talked about uh, before, we were looking at uh, different uh, cars uh, when we ordered uh, the Rolls. We were looking at whether or not we should buy the Cullinan, uh, which is the SUV version of uh, the uh, Rolls. I think it's a beautiful vehicle, uh, but I like the uh, sedan uh, better. Uh, we did look at the Dawn as well. This tends to be a little bit more practical. Most of our cars have uh, two seats. Everything that we have, the SLS, the uh, 488, uh, the uh, 812 uh, GTS, etc. So we really wanted uh, something that, that if we did want uh, to take uh, more than uh, two people in uh, the car, we were able to, to do so in uh, comfort. And that's uh, part of the reason uh, why we went with the Ghost, along with uh, the fact that I think it is a, a beautiful car. Now, me being in my uh, 40s, as I joked uh, before, um, I remember a show called Lifestyle of the Rich and Famous. They had Hollywood stars and uh, people of uh, good uh, fortune. And I remember in those days, and I don't know if this is myth or if this is true, but if you had a Rolls Royce, 
and the Rolls Royce broke down on the side of the road, they would dispatch a helicopter with a mechanic with white gloves to be able to go ahead and see if they could fix the vehicle. Uh, now, we did have a couple of uh, things uh, that happened uh, with our uh, vehicle, and no helicopter did land, nor was there anyone with white gloves, although Rolls uh, did uh, go ahead and uh, fix a few of the, the small things. I think one of the drawbacks of uh, the Comfort is, is you could easily fall asleep. <laughs> so soothing uh, to drive uh, the car, it's uh, so quiet, it can uh, lull you to sleep. So you do have to be careful from that perspective on uh, long rides. I enjoyed spending some uh, time with you uh, to go through the 2022 uh, ghost this is dr k until next time pull it up in the corner so that my wife doesn't run it over when she comes in with the dually take care guys